Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to part three in the creating a linked list project in C++ tutorial. And uh, basically what we're doing here is we're going to define these function prototypes that we just uh, wrote out in the last video. And uh, basically how we're going to do that is we're going to create a new file called list.cpp and that will be the implementation file, the file that we define our function prototypes for our list class. So what I'm going to do, I'm in NetBeans here and I'm going to click on the projects tab and then in my source files folder I'm just going to right click source files then I'm going to select new and I want to create a new C++ source file. So there's other ways you could do stuff like this, you could do C++ class and everything but this is the way I'm going to do it for my tutorial and uh, so I click on C++ source file and uh, I'm just going to name my source file list and give it the extension .cpp for C++ and then I'm going to click finish and it will create that new file for me so we need to include some preprocessor directives in here so we need to include the standard library so CSTD LIB will do that and then we're going to be using some input and output in C++ so we're going to include IOStream as well so that we can accomplish that and then we need to let the uh, compiler know that we're going to be using the standard namespace so you just type in using namespace std for that and then we're going to let our program know that it needs to reference the header file that we just created so we're going to include and then this time it's going to be in quotation marks since this is a file that we created and we're going to include list.h so now that we've got all that stuff in there we're going to start defining our first function so for this tutorial I'll define the function prototype and uh, basically in order to define a function from a class in the uh, implementation file we start out with the class name and then we do colon colon and then here it shows that now that it knows that it's getting information from including list.h that we included up here it's giving me some choices well it was okay. there we go now it's giving me those choices again and it recognizes now that we've included list.h that these are possible functions that we might want to define so first we're going to define the constructor so we're just going to click on list with the parentheses here and then uh, to define it we need to include some curly braces here and inside the curly braces we're, will be the, where we define our function so for this case for the constructor we basically just need to define the private data members and uh, so we have head, cur, and temp for the head pointer, the current pointer, and the temporary pointer and I'm just going to set all of those to null so head equals null um, <clears throat> cur equals null and our temporary pointer temp is also going to equal null so as soon as we create a list object in our main.cpp file it's going to immediately set all three of its head current and temp pointer so so all three of its uh, private pointers here head cur and temp is going to set them all to null so we need to make sure we do this otherwise it's going to give us some undesired results later on when we uh, try to run the program so anyway I'll stop the tutorial here and then in the next tutorial I'll define the add node function so stay tuned for that thanks for watching have a great day and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe